Federal opposition says the government should do whatever it can to evict a Russian diplomat who's effectively squatting at a building site in Canberra where the Russian government wanted to build a new embassy. Political reporter Olivia Kaisley is on the scene. Anthony Albanese says he's confident the Commonwealth will be able to evict the Russian Federation from this embassy site just hundreds of metres from Parliament House. The diplomatic standoff started last week after the Parliament rammed through emergency legislation effectively tearing up that lease. The problem now, though, is Russia doesn't want to leave and there's a Russian diplomat illegally squatting on the site. This man's been holed up there for a couple of days and has been coming out of that white demountable there to smoke and accept food deliveries. He's under the watch of a Australian federal police officers who have been unable to arrest him because he has diplomatic immunity. But the PM says the man's presence pales in comparison to the threat presented by a Russian embassy operating at this site. The national security threat that was represented by a Russian embassy on site are not the same as some bloke standing on a blade of grass on the site that we don't see really as a threat to our national security. A number of members of the opposition have told me the Prime Minister's comments were flippant, given we have no idea what devices, if at all, the squatter has in that demountable with him. They say he's effectively acting as a human shield to the Commonwealth repossessing the land. Opposition leader Peter Dutton has also weighed in. People should conduct themselves according to the law, and people, regardless of what country they come from, should have regard for the laws of this country. And if people are acting outside of that, then there will be a decision for the Australian Federal Police and ASIO and the other agencies to make. I want to be very clear. If the law of Australia has terminated Russia's lease on that land, then Russia should not be occupying that land. Every Australian expects Australian law to be upheld and to be upheld fairly and equally for all. And we shouldn't tolerate anybody seeking to make any type of fool of Australia. The Russian Federation is expected to launch unprecedented legal action in the courts in the coming days to fight the Parliament's legislation. The Commonwealth, though, is confident it will be able to fight back. And joining me live for more on this is Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister Simon Birmingham. We just heard you in that story. Simon, thanks so much for joining us. It's quite a bizarre situation, isn't it? A, a diplomat illegally squatting on the, the site in this small, demountable building. Are we certain that this is that man is actually a diplomat? Well, hi, Ken. It's good to be with you. Look, I am not certain. Again, these are matters for the government to clarify, and clarify them they should, so that everybody is, uh, is very clear as to what's going on and what efforts are being made to make sure that the law of the land, Australian law, is upheld and upheld fairly and equally uh, to all. What happened is a little over a week ago, we worked as an opposition with the government to put through the parliament laws to ensure that that piece of land, which is in close proximity to the Australian Parliament and to uh, other agencies within Canberra, does not become home to a new and modern Russian embassy. Now, that is now the law, and the lease was cancelled under that law that was passed through the Australian Parliament. And if it's no longer land upon which the Russian uh, embassy holds a lease, then it's not land that they should be occupying in any way, shape or form. And that's what should be being enforced and taken seriously by the government. Now, we did get you earlier, some of your earlier press conference uh, to air, but you said in that press conference that the government should be looking at all available legal options. Why can't the AFP go in and physically remove the man from the site? Is it because the government is concerned about retaliation on Australian diplomats in, in Moscow? Well, first and foremost, you would expect that a request to leave and, if need be, an order to leave is given. Now, again, it's not clear whether even that step has been taken because the government hasn't been clear or transparent about uh, the steps they are taking and what they are doing in terms of ensuring that the law is upheld. So that really should come first. And uh, whether you are an Australian citizen or resident uh, or a diplomat here, there is an expectation that uh, everyone acts in accordance with a lawful request in this country. And so, given that this is land upon which the Russian Federation no longer has any lease or entitlement, uh, if a lawful request is made by the Australian Federal Police or other authorities for this man to leave, he should leave. He should leave peacefully. Uh, and if that is not, uh, not adhered to or obeyed, uh, then, of course, other steps can be considered. Yeah, because Russia is clearly has shown that it's not concerned about following 
international law. So is there a particular legal option that would make a difference in your opinion? Well, let's say first and foremost, the you know, reality should be you should be being asked to leave. And if that doesn't work, you should be being ordered to leave. And if that doesn't work, well, then you consider other options. And of course, there are options all the way through to if he is a recognised diplomat, uh, requiring him to leave the country because of a failure to comply with a lawful request. But that's some steps away from where we are at present. I do note that, uh, that before the last election, Anthony Albanese and Penny Wong were happy to talk a big game about the expulsion of Russian diplomats that they called for then. Uh, they haven't acted consistent with those calls post the election and since coming into government. Uh, in this case, uh, we're not seeking to rush forward in terms of claiming what should happen. We're simply saying the government should be acting first and foremost to uphold the law of the land as passed by the Australian Parliament last week. The Prime Minister doesn't think that this man on the site poses a threat to national security. What's your view? My view is the Prime Minister should take this seriously. Uh, this man is acting in breach of laws that were put through uh, as emergency laws through the Australian Parliament uh, to ensure that our national security could be protected and to ensure that this land goes back uh, in terms of not being held as land by the Russian Federation. Uh, and so he shouldn't just cast this aside. He shouldn't consider it uh, to be a joke. He shouldn't be uh, playing it in a way where Australia is seen to be uh, taken advantage of or played off in any way, in a foolish sort of way. Uh, this is a matter that should be taken seriously by the appropriate authorities and the PM should be backing in those authorities to do what is necessary within Australian law to ensure that law is upheld. China's embassy is just across the road from Parliament House as well. Uh, it's a similar distance away. Should we be concerned about the location of that embassy if there were national security risks with Russia's embassy being a similar distance away? So there are some similarities. There are a few little differences as well in terms of, uh, in terms of um, aspects of the land and the buildings and, of course, the uh, age of the buildings uh, when you're talking about a potential new and modern building being established that poses, obviously, uh, different risks. Uh, ultimately, these are things that uh, we have to listen to, whether you're the government or the opposition, the advice of the national security agencies at the time. Uh, we appreciated the fact that uh, in bringing the legislation forward last week in relation to the Russian embassy in this piece of land, the government did provide security briefings to the opposition. Uh, that was welcome and important to ensure that we could give informed consideration and, in this case, uh, informed consent and agreement to the legislation that was put through the parliament. Uh, and we trust that, in terms of any other protections that are necessary for Australia's national security, the government similarly acts upon the advice of those national security agencies. Having this person squatting on the site and refusing to leave, it does show that they're quite desperate to to keep this site and it must be of significance to the Putin regime. Well, it certainly shows that some sort of games or tactics or plots are otherwise being played out uh, in this regard. Uh, and all of them are unacceptable. Uh, this is Australian land. The Australian Parliament has made the legal position clear. The Russian Federation has no claim uh, that is valid under Australian law over that land. They've got no reason to be there. They shouldn't be there. Uh, and we should be expecting the Albanese government to have law enforcement agencies uphold the law of the land. Simon Birmingham, really appreciate your time. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Kenny. You too. Cheers.